If you guys are playing Man 21 Ultimate Team and you do need coins for that new card coming out, head over to Red Zone Coins. They are super reliable. Use code RISCO at checkout for 20% off. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Drisco coming at you guys with another video boys. Today I'll be going over the huge franchise update that will be coming in the Man 21 tomorrow, January 7th. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now if you guys have been enjoying the videos boys, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It would be highly appreciated. You guys will be going crazy with the support and make sure and turn that bell notification so you guys never miss a video. All right, so now I'm about to go ahead and get into the blog boys. EA did just put out this grid out, grid out notes for the franchise update coming out tomorrow like I said on January 7th. They already said January 7th um, and I will have a link to this blog in the description also if you guys do want to check it out it will be in the description below. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. They already said um, it says right here we're excited to say these, uh, these features will be on all platforms including Xbox Series X and S and the PS5. So these will be on next gen also. It's not just a current gen thing. It's not just a next gen thing. This will be on you know both versions of the game, which is a really, really, a really good thing. So I'm, I'm really glad that they're doing stuff like that. I'm, I'm really glad they're not just, you know, making it on one version. That would just be so bad. Um, so first we're going to get a CPU uh, QB draft logic. Um, so basically this is just really, you know, when the CPU, they you know, they're drafting the, the actual NFL draft and stuff like that. And, um, you know, their first draft or something like that. This is that their, their logic is, is being improved in this area. Um, so I'm really glad this is a thing because you know, it makes it more realistic. You know, they're actually taking the right choices. Um, you know, when, when a CPU has to draft and stuff like that, so it just makes it more realistic. Um, it says Dev Note this feature came directly from the community feedback around situations where rookie QBs ultimately got replaced after the first season due to the overall being lower than an incom in in incoming prospect. This paragraph is basically just saying that um, these the, basically the CPU teams aren't just going to give up on their you know, their previous quarterbacks basically. So um, so let's just say you know a, a CPU they took a draft they, they took a quarterback in one uh, you know NFL draft in the following season they let them go. They're, with this update, they're going to be basically they're going to be focusing on those you know those players that they drafted. They're not going to just give up on them and get a, a whole new rookie quarterback the following season. The following season, so I'm really glad that they're doing it. It makes this way more realistic. Um, th this is the um, this is basically the um, requirements and stuff like that that they're going to go off of the CPU. It says when the CPU is on the clock, they will now deprioritize drafting the, a first round quarterback if you know all of this stuff right here. Current quarterback is a, a 94 plus. Um, current 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 starting quarterback is an 87 plus uh, and plus uh, 32 years old. So stuff like that, you know, they they're basically just making sure that you know a CPU is always making the right decision here, which is a huge W. Um, it says as always, whether the team drafts the quarterback um, is dependent on many factors, and like real life, there could always be there, there always be still times where team decides to go with a player that's too good to pass up. So um, that that's that. I really feel like that's a good thing that that they did add. Um, we also got uh, commissioner control, undo free agent signings off season only. So now you can undo the free agent signings, but this is only in the off season. Um, I don't know why they didn't make it for the regular season too. I guess that's the thing that that that, that doesn't that doesn't happen. Um, so they only do it for the off season only. Um, and you can do it if you are a commissioner. You go into the transition log right here. It does show a picture. You can't, you know, just undo it. It's gonna be just an easy one tap button. It's not gonna be something that's super complicated. You just tap one button and you can, you can undo it. Um, so I really like that. Also, um, we also got another commissioner controls team override settings. So basically, this is you know how in the saying there's ball uh, ball hawk, uh, heat seekers, uh, switch assist, all that type of stuff. You can basically override that for the entire uh, the, for the entire league, and that'll be everybody's settings. Um, so you could keep it as uh, keep it as individual. Um, you can uh, turn it on and off, and then you know, you, or you can have it as uh, it, it overrides the entire um, it, it overrides the entire league. So basically, you could just turn it on and off and stuff like that on which one you want, you know, ball seeker stuff like that. You could you could actually uh, actually have you know a lot of control over this stuff now, um, for, especially for setting stuff like this. So this is really really huge. Um, having this much control over you know stuff like this, it, it makes a difference. Um, you know, people are people are gonna you know be able to see you know if you put it on you know you turn it off or something like that. So you gotta make sure everybody knows in advance what they're getting themselves into. Make sure everybody knows uh, ball hawk is gonna be off and stuff like that. Um, this they were basically this is one of the top requested um, commissioner requests. Um, this creates a, a way to level the playing field regarding uh, assist features. So these assist features are now you're gonna be able to override them across the entire commission. I mean the entire franchise. Um, we also got commissioner draft tools. 
commissioners will now be able to assign auto draft um, during the during the draft along with pause and resume functionality this way advancing to the next user pick will always skip the players on autopilot so basically you know how um you know there would be some absent guy in the draft you know for a, a fancy draft or something like that nfl draft um if there's like an absent player who's not even playing or they're, they're not they're not drafting or anything um but they still want to be in the league you can basically autopilot them and whenever their their pick comes up you can just it skips right it, it, it'll skip right past them you don't got you know do it yourself it'll just automatically do it just like that um, and I feel like this is huge. I feel like this is definitely really, really good um, because having to do it, having to do it um, yourself is kind of, it's kind of just tedious sometimes. You, you have to keep doing it, especially if it's multiple people. If it's multiple people, it just takes like it's just so much work to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. It's really stay on top of it. So now you can't autopilot, and it'll, it'll just make overall just make the entire draft um, go by fast. No matter if it's a fantasy draft or an NFL draft, it'll go by way faster now. Um, so this is a huge, huge W. Um, we got Commissioner House Rules, Play Cooldown, and uh, Repeat Play Limits. And this is huge, boys. This one is huge, huge, huge. This is a huge change. Um, so basically, um, because of uh, because of Mutt and Superstar KO, I, I, yeah, I think this, uh, yeah, I think it's Superstar KO, um, that they had a house rules, basically. Uh, they had a house rules where you could basically, um, it was basically a Play Cooldown and a Play Limit, basically. They had this in the house rules in Mutt. And um, this really, it, it, it was really a cool house rules. Um, I really didn't mind it. I played it. I remember playing it last year, stuff like that. I really didn't mind it. For all the owners of franchises, stuff like that, you know, who have rules that um, that say, you know, you can only, you know, run certain plays. You can only do this a certain amount of times. You can, you can't spam the same blitz or something like that. Now they have control, actual control over it now. Um, so um, I, me, I don't really, I'm, I wouldn't be the type to really do that because I just feel like it's not that serious. I feel like. Um, I, I just feel like if, if, just, if someone can't stop what you're trying to do, I mean, they just can't stop. They have to get better. But, I mean, some people do want a more realistic um, experience. So, hey, they, they have that at your, at your disposal now. And I'm actually really glad that, you know, they, they, they're giving people options. I'm, I'm glad they're giving people options. So, this is huge. But this is huge. Like, you just actually having the um, just ha having the option right here, it's, it's going to make franchises totally different. Now, it's going to make them totally different. Um, so, let's keep on going. They do have some screenshots right here. Uh, you know, you can do play call, play, play call, cool down to 10. Um, you can do it to uh, 7. You can do play call limit off. You can do a whole bunch of stuff where you can really customize, um, you know, numbers and everything with this. So that's really, really good. Um, we got commissioner saying X factor customization restrictions. Um, so I'm pretty sure it says customize uh, commissioners will be able to determine who is able to edit abilities on players through X factor customization tools. We enabled in previous uh, uh, continuous development release. The uh, settings of the commissioner only unit. Okay, so I like this. I, 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 I like. I, I feel like this is a really good addition. I'm um, just going to look through it. Yeah, commissioner only. And uh, okay, so yeah, th this is really really good. So basically, um, if someone wants to edit their abilities and stuff like that, you could basically change to where it's only the commissioner doing, it or or or, the, or any user, or just nobody does it. So this is um, this is a huge thing. Also, um, it, you know, it, it gives it gives um, the commissioner a lot of uh, a, a lot of rules, a lot of settings that they can uh, use. So um, basically, if someone you know if someone keeps changing their abilities or they're doing something stupid with their abilities or something like that, um, they can change it to where it's just the, uh, just the commission, which is a good thing. Um, so let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Um, we got trade logic improvement. This is basically just saying the trade logic is going to be better. This has been needed for a while. The trade logic is absolutely trash. So I'm glad that they're fixing this. Also, this is a huge thing uh, to move forward uh, from the trade logic. So basically, they're just saying like it wasn't just a quick fix. Basically, they had to they had to keep reevaluating it, keep changing and stuff like that, uh, with the goal of improving realism and fun of interacting with trade system using a few key goals, establishing new baseline scales around players and draft pick value so basically they just changed a whole bunch of stuff um we're excited to discuss more about uh how we are bringing all those into into the next day. okay so basically they're gonna have another uh they're gonna have another deep dive whenever they do another franchise update um they're gonna have you know they're gonna keep improving on they're gonna keep you know working on the, the trade logic and stuff like that but in this uh, in this update tomorrow it will be better it will be better um they also got franchise league history Basically, this is just saying if you have a continuous franchise, so let's just say you have a franchise that's, you know, four years deep or something like that, you can now see um, who was the Super Bowl of all those, the, uh, who was the Super Bowl winner of those four seasons, who was, you know, the MVP of those four seasons. You can actually look up those stuff and look at the, uh, the stats, stuff like that of those four seasons. You can actually see what happened, um, who, who was the Super Bowl MVP, who was the offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year. 
all types of stuff like that. Um, it says for Match 21, this will track every season in your franchise from this from the season. This is added and forward. Um, for is, is it any history prior to the addition will not be accessible as we previously did not save off um, the Super Bowl scores. Um, so basically, that's saying that. If you have, you know, if, if you're in a five-year league now, it's not going to save it. it. You have to, it has to be uh, in tomorrow, basically. So tomorrow, once you start, you know, your franchise again, you start a new franchise and uh, on forward, it will save it then. But the ones that you have currently right now, they're not being saved because they don't have the actual setting on, they don't have the actual thing on to where it, it will be saving. So you can't see, you know, uh, the, you can't see a Super Bowl score from the, the beginning of the year or something like that. You cannot do that. But um, tomorrow and moving forward as those franchise, you know, as those franchise scores get saved and stuff like that into the system You will be able to see those now boys. Do I like this update? Yes I think this is a good update. I feel like this update it really changes a lot It's a it's a huge update and it'll definitely um, you know It'll change stuff the minute it happens the minute it comes out It's gonna be stuff, you know changed already um, new franchises getting made and stuff like that new stuff you No know, new settings just getting put in and stuff like that and it'll definitely change franchises in the future uh, for the most part it'll change a lot of franchises um, you know, a lot of rules will be put in place to, you know, where it's actually going to be enforced. Um, so I really do like this, you know, the EA just makes it easier. Um, they, they're trying to make it easier for these rules to really be enforced. Um, you know, for these, it just make it easier on these, though, owners, the, the owner of the franchise and stuff like that. So I feel like it really is a huge, huge thing that they did add. Um, so like I said, this will be coming out tomorrow. It's probably going to be around like 11 a.m. When, when the update does go live. Um, but for, for the most part, I really like this update for franchise. But alright guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more. And until next time, peace.